down in Vernal, Utah, in the eastern part of the state, there's a dam called Steinaker. And we went down there because someone had noticed a minor slope anomaly on the face of the dam. So we went down there to take some aerial photos and essentially create another 3D model from those photos so that we could see the slope anomaly on a digital scale and through that be able to analyze it and make it easier to look at. We had one of our students go up in a manned helicopter and take the photos with the Nikon, but he had to take them manually. So that was a little different than projects in the past. Also, with this project, we created a couple new things. We created a, a DEM, a digital elevation model, and an orthophoto, um, which these um, two aspects are really helpful in the GIS field. We can get a lot of data from the DEM, and when we created our DEM, it was much higher resolution than the DEMs that were publicly available. We have about 5 to 10 centimeter resolution, whereas the normal public data is probably 5 to 10 meters. And it was much easier to obtain the DEM through our methods than it normally would be. And with this DEM, you can do a lot of raster analysis and calculations that make it easier to get more information out of your terrain. So our research objective with the Steinecker Dam model was to capture aerial footage of the minor slope anomaly that was noticed on the dam. And then with this imagery, we created this model that has great accuracy of 5 to 10 centimeters, which is much more accurate than the publicly available 10 to 30 meters of data that's available. So with this model, we can do a change detection with it. If we go back and revisit the site later and get a new set of photos and create an updated model, we can compare the two and run a change detection analysis to see if the dam has experienced any further slope failure and if it needs to be remediated.